Dear Eric, I never thought you'd leave. I'll be out of your life for good. Goodbye, Molly. Everybody sticking with their partners, this is really important. Radio checkpoints are on our maps. Don't forget the Rumby Blues at 5 o'clock sharp. I don't want anyone rolling in quarter after 5. We haven't got time to screw this thing up. And remember, it's important that we're all working as a team here. Okay, remember, it's very important if you find anything, and I mean anything unusual at all, you're to report it back immediately to the base. Okay? Is anyone not clear on anything I've said so far today? Any of the instructions? Sure? Okay, great, thanks. Good luck. There's gotta be something to do a stunt like this. I mean, you think she's screwing around? What if she's not? Eric, how the hell should I know? You talked to her last. Last time I talked to her, she was on another planet. Wendy, I'm serious. What if something's gone wrong? What if she's looking something dumb? Eric, you're so damn naive. Can't you see she's doing this on purpose? Her little security blankets, leaving town, and she can't handle this place on her own. Security blanket. <sighs> Eric, give me a break. Molly's loved you since she was five years old. Now she sees you might be skipping town for good, and she can't deal with it. Yeah, you know, you might be right. The girl is screwed up, Eric, and I'm sick and tired of her bullshit. What about the letter? What if she's out there hanging from a tree or something? Eric, she's not stupid. She's just pathetic. We're not ten years old anymore. Why don't you just file that letter away with the rest of her pleas for help? I knew it. What? She suckered us.
Green? Yep. Ward? Here. Lebowski? Here. Clark? Clark? Mills? Mills? Has anyone seen Clark or Mills? Eric, you are such an idiot. I can't believe you got us into this. You're so stupid. Wendy, shut up. Just shut up.